September is right around the corner, but one local zoo is already thinking of pumpkins, ghouls, and goblins. In this week's Zoo and You segment, KSNT News reporter James Ryan explains how you can help the Topeka Zoo be as frightening as possible. The little ones can keep their cute and cuddly Halloween. The Topeka Zoo has an event that's sure to make your hair stand on end. You need to be alert because there is a lot of scare zones and you never know when there's going to be an actor popping out at you. Boo and Bruise has had a few names since it started three years ago, but it's still the same adults only fright fest you know and love. We will have some areas that are like the safe areas. There won't be any themes in that but it is going to be themed out for Halloween. That means being terrified by actors looking to scare you while sipping on brews and mixed drinks, or you can get a discount on your ticket if you'd rather be scared sober. It's still a lot of fun to come out here with the animals out and all of the Halloween entertainment, so you still get a lot out of it. But making the transition from family friendly to monster madness isn't easy. We're still open that day until 1 p.m., and then when it shuts down, we really only have from 1 to when the event starts at 7 to transition the entire zoo with all of the scary stuff. So organizers are hoping you'll volunteer to turn this family fest into a wicked mess. I'm James Ryan, KSNT News. Boo and Brews will be Saturday, October 11th from 7 to 1030 at night. For tickets or to volunteer, head to our website at KSNT.com.